see a class called Woodshop, and I did find it interesting. I thought everyone that came out of it with these big wood objects, I thought it was very creative. So I saw it one day on my electives list, and I tried it out, and I got into the class, and I found the teacher was more than exceeding his limits of being like creative, wanting to help you, wanting to be there, and just wanting to have you enjoy the class. Career and Technical Pathways ultimately bridge the gap between academics and careers. So what that does is it allows our elective staff to really become united and provide students the opportunities to travel through sequential courses which hopefully will be articulated through the local community college or hopefully even some of the four-year public schools that are within our backyard, Bridgewater, UMass Dartmouth. So essentially what we'd like to see is more courses go down the path of our drafting course, which right now is our articulation agreement with the community college. Our students can walk out of high school with three credits under their belt. The kids own the building. It's the kids' education that matters most. And we need to understand that our goal is to focus them and to give them an environment to be successful and to really, when they have opportunities to be successful, to push them give them that nudge, to give them the opportunity to challenge themselves. Mashpee does a good job with not only providing a, a great number of classes, AP classes students can take to better their education and prepare them for the future, but also um, it provides with them a great range of extracurricular activities to improve them as a person. It's really uh, excellent uh, opportunities for students. Uh, we offer junior high school band and high school band for uh, kids playing instruments. And they come up, uh, start playing in fourth grade, then they come up here. To, uh, to continue on an education and uh, advance because in fourth, fifth, and sixth grade they get it once a week. Up here they're every day playing music and the kids who love music really uh, do great stuff in here. I like the small environment and being tied in with the community is very good. We do a lot of, um, we did a lot of different programs with uh, the Casey Coombs schools and the Quashnet schools um, helping teaching the younger kids about art and um, having them to grow into these new programs so they stay with our programs while they're still um, up into the high school. We are a one-to-one -one initiative. We're going Chromebooks for every student, 7 through 12. Apple iPads for the elementary school students. Um, and we're upgrading every day. Our school choice numbers are high and our class size numbers are low. So it really is great to be in Mashpee. All the high schoolers and the teachers and the middle schoolers that have already been, they definitely helped you get around the school and if you had any questions they were always open to the answers. I think Mashpee is special. We have a great school, we have a great facility. Um, there's lots of opportunities for our students to participate um, on in sports at the varsity level, in clubs. There's really no end to what students are able to participate in. Um, because we're so small I think it opens up a lot of different doors for kids. We're both in senior seminar and that's a class that Mashpee High School offers and that really does prepare you for college and I know last year, the second half of the year, we were able to take junior seminar and from that point I knew exactly what I wanted to do, I, know, I knew exactly where I wanted to go, I knew exactly what I wanted and I wouldn't have known that if it wasn't for the teachers here helping me figure that out. So, Yeah, junior seminar is, is very key in your college search. I would not have been nearly as ready as I would have been in another school because I had I had a class set aside for figuring out what I want to do in my life. I think uh, Mashpee is special for definitely a variety of reasons but the one main thing I like about it is definitely this engineering department just being able to make my own things and progress through the department. How, how have we done in making sure that seventh graders feel as much as part of the building as the seniors? Well part of the way we started was creating a transition team we really wanted to focus on that grade six to seven transition and through our work, and, you know, including a number of opportunities for these students to get exposed to the high school, uh, to the 7 to 12 model, uh, they were prepared building-wise. Um, but I think that when they come in, there's always these reservations of, I'm a 7th grader, and you have all these big 12th grade kids that are 17, 18. And the greatest part about this school and about our kids is their selflessness and their willingness to help out these younger individuals. And every interaction that I've seen between upperclassmen and 7th and 8th graders is nothing but positive. Um, I know Mrs. Terrell had mentioned a story where she had seen senior actually walk out of her class uh, to help a student in seventh grade that was lost in the second day of school. These are things that happen every day in this building and they're really indicative of the, um, the great nature of our kids and how likable they are and how willing they are to really help them. It helps them really to feel connected to the school and Absolutely. part of it when they know they have other kids that are older that they can seek out and um, will support them and it just makes them feel proud to be a match fee and, and the kids talk about it all the time. They are happy to be here every day. What makes Mastery special, I believe, is the we have the opportunities of the larger schools, 
Um, for example, we have, I believe, 14 AP courses in history. Uh, currently, we have AP Human Geography, AP US, and AP European, which means students can basically go through their high school career taking those advanced placement courses that are sometimes only offered at larger schools. In the technology department, we have many different course offerings uh, available for the students to choose from. We've developed the uh, career and technical pathways, uh, which concentrate on five different areas. There's art and communications, business, uh, health services, hospitality services, as well as uh, manufacturing technology and engineering. Um, each one of these areas uh, gives students an opportunity to work hands-on with real-world applications in that career field. So we made a point of saying those very first couple days, if there isn't something that you are interested in right now, but you have a generative interest in learning about something or being part of a different group, come and see us and we'll make that happen. We'll find an advisor to be able to do that. And to your credit, Mark, that, that happened in a period of one month where students just had expressed to you during lunch that they wanted to take part in a magic club and today's their first inaugural day in terms of meeting with an advisor. And for an hour and a half, they'll be participating in that activity, staying here and working with our staff. And I think that's, that's what we want. We want our doors to be open. We want activities going on in this building throughout the day and into the evening, every day. If I was to give advice to underclassmen or people that are just beginning high school, I would definitely tell them to challenge yourselves ahead of time and to challenge yourselves within the school and also within the community and to definitely keep their eyes on their goals and their dreams and to always do what they love and what they believe in.